Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This uh, video will have to do with two things. One, I didn't, didn't I tell you that once Brittany Griner, or Griner, the cannabis girl that was sentenced nine years and a half in uh, penitentiary in Russia, once she will be released, swapped, we will not hear about anybody else. That was one. And have you heard of anybody else being swapped or the US government demanding Russia, I don't know, liberate, liberate whatever, Whalen, whatever his name is, and or others that really have, you know, value being, uh, you know, um, captured by the, and imprisoned by Russians? Nothing. Nothing. Why not? I told you that would happen. I haven't heard anything. First. Secondly, uh, where is the Nord Stream um, pipelines uh, investigation? Nothing. How long ago? September, October, November, December, January, February. Five months? Nothing. Nothing. Look at how, how much attention the, uh, the American, the free press, free with the good people, are how much attention we pay to this issue. It's non-existent. It's going to be just pushed to the side. So that tells me a lot. If the US government got in contact with the Russians only to liberate this person, Greener, the cannabis girl, and after that, the rest don't care. The rest don't care. I told you this is just a, a cultural, political decision. That's what it is. That gives a sign to people like uh, that... Um, Certain kind of people don't really matter. And what would that uh, make us do? I don't know, leave? Just uh, ourselves or something? Yeah, from some people's perspective, probably. So again, where are the um, articles regarding uh, US demanding that Whalen or someone else must be released? Where are they? And I, I'm pretty sure that's not only Whalen over there. Sometimes the mass media put them together the uh, Britney, uh, whatever her name is, Greener, Griner, with this guy, like, they don't want to make it a, it's only about her because she's this and she's that or whatever she is. No, no, no. They put them together from time to time. But I knew this was just a, so we can't keep our mouth. No, see, they fight for both of them. No, they didn't. Where, where is the guy right now? Have you heard any, any pressure put on Russia? Any threats? Anything like that? Nothing. Why is that? Because the person that we cared for, we were supposed to care more, was freed with a bad deal with a merchant of death, Mr. Baut. There you have it. You like your country? I don't like it like that. I thought that justice is blind and, you know, we're all treated equal by, you know, not uh, based on a certain kind of uh, preferences or simply because, I don't know, I'm tall or I'm short or I'm fat or I'm ugly. But hey, what do you want? And that is your government the, that, that suppose, supposedly works for all Americans. Did it work for Whalen or for anybody else who's over there? And remember, that guy was, uh, he served his country. This one was bouncing a freaking ball and shooting hoops. I don't care if she was a uh, uh, Olympic champion. That's very good. Add basketball. Fantastic. Anything else? How did you, how, how, what kind of... Uh, how should I put it? What kind of... Uh, how did you support your country? By playing that? Is that what you did? Putting a uh, US on the map on something that most people don't even watch, which is women uh, NBA. Anyway, uh, this is what happened. And now we go to Nord Stream. So if it's not clear that it was only about that person because of certain kind of ideologies, well, maybe people like not wanted, you know, certain kind of groups are having a second uh, uh, class uh, value. Well, well, when you guys gonna realize that, maybe you're gonna uh, vote. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to Nord Stream. Nord Stream, where, are the, where is the outcome of the investigation? Those guys are still investigating? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, we're working on it. It's confidential and it's top secret. When we're gonna find... Yeah, all right. Or they're all stressed. Nobody, don't, don't call, don't answer that, don't answer that. You can't give them any answers right now. US is upset. Where is that investigation? Do you hear anything in the, in the mainstream mass media? I mean, just imagine, just imagine that it would have been, let's say, US's pipeline. 
and or just you know reverse the roles put united states and let's say uh, iraq united states and the weasels attacking iraq and then all, all of a sudden a pipe and i don't know gas pipe uh, was blown u.s pipe uh, gas pipe was blown up by somewhere like that do you think that this we will ever be allowed to forget about it <laughs> that would be every other article would be about that about that and those people would be called as they should be called terrorists that's an international infrastructure, terrorist. How do you call that? How would you call that? Uh, friendship, a uh, little explosion or something? And the fact that these guys are not coming back with any information, uh, this is uh, the same thing as... I always look at it like this. If you don't find out something on a big investigation where the government is somehow involved, that means uh, someone doesn't want you to find out something. And then when they don't want to find that... Who, who holds the whole power here? Two governments, supposedly Denmark and Sweden, and Germany to a certain extent, which is limited. What do you want? And they cannot come with a conclusion because they're going to hurt someone. It's got, that someone is going to call, be called a terrorist state by definition. And then you, you can't associate yourself with those guys. But I'm just, I'm just saying that this silence is... I don't want to say it proves guilt, but it's concerning because it's five months and they couldn't determine yet. I don't believe they could. I thought they. I think they determined that in the past, in the first two weeks of the investigation, they knew exactly when, whom, whatever. They knew that. I mean, what what information are they hoping right now to get? What extra? What extra information are they working on? They're working from some chemicals to work on other chemicals to find out what was the composition of that little explosive or something. And they, it, it takes five years until that uh, reaches the outcome or something. Is that what it is? No, it's not that. It's just, shh, let it go. Let it go. But the Russians don't want to let it go for good reason. And not only Russia. That tells you, that tells you the free world, the good world, self-ascribed good world works. You're good, but when you're about when you're about you know pointing out that hey maybe these guys did it or that no everybody it's a consensus. There's no country, there's no country in the Western world, maybe with expect, uh, exception of Hungary, that says well we need to uh, you know what's going on here. They're all quiet. Isn't that strange? Would it have been quiet of, uh, if something else happened? Remember what happened with September 11? Oh, it was those guys. No, 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 it was those guys. No, it was those guys. And then you say, well, we attack Iraq. Why? How many Iraqis were in those planes? Hmm? How, how many? I, I'm listening. Where is the connection between Saddam and those planes? I, I didn't hear about it. And then they switched the whole narrative. No, it's about freedom and democracy. And because they are potentially going to attack us with their uh, weapons of mass destruction that they have, our intelligence community assured us 100% that we have to, you know, remember Colin Powers showing us uh, all those things and the United Nations. And the Brits played along. That's why for me, US and a Brit British intelligence, for that matter in particular, mean nothing when they say something. It's like the boy who called uh, Wolf so many times, the same here. No, not that I believe them in general, because one of, part of their departments is the disinformation, that's by definition. But anyway, somehow we're the good ones, the other one, the rest that we want, we point the fingers at the bad ones. Well, you know, that's, uh, that's unjust, I think. And with this uh, uh, pipeline, really, 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 it, it's, it's amazing, for, even for the for the weasels who have a below 86 IQ, uh, should be uh, asking a question. Wait, wait a minute. But if you don't know things, you don't realize you need five months to figure out that. What are you looking for? What are you investigating? Five months. What exactly are you? Contact? How, what are you looking into? What kind of records are you checking? Are you verifying? There can be more than five, seven, I would say, seven. That's it. I mean, really, I mean, look at that. It could be satellite evidence. It could be, you know, uh, chemical evidence. It could be, uh, you know, information evidence. It could be uh, sensory evidence. It could be visual, you know, audio evidence. It would be communication evidence. You know, how many more? How many more you want me to, to, to give them? 
no more than seven that can be. And on each this, the, on each of this, you take the satellite. How many satellites? How many? How much you have to go back to see who's who, what's what? That could be done in a, one afternoon by ten people. You take this period. You take this period. You take this period. Visual that. Visualize that. Look over the the records. They should have it recorded. It's not like oh my god, oh, everything is recorded. You would be surprised what they record. So hey, say hello to the camera. Uh, it doesn't mean that they are watching it, but this gets recorded, stored, and then when needed, get retrieved and watched. I mean. And people say, oh, no, that's conspiracy. <laughs> it's conspiracy? Okay, you can leave like a, uh, like a uh, ostrich with a head in the uh, sand. Go ahead. I will use only one person. I don't know if it's a bad dude again, because it sounds like the bad dudes sometimes, you know, are more... Uh, anyway, I can't say things like this. It's just that, uh, just watch some uh, easy, easiest way. I'm not saying you should go deeper than that. The easiest way. Just watch a few videos. One video, it should be enough of uh, um, Edward Snowden. I know he's the uh, traitor and all that. Put that to the side and listen to what he says. And you don't have to trust him but from the, or believe whatever he says. But look into it and look further than that. And then go deeper and then go deeper and then go deeper. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find things that if you started with a, a nihilistic point of view, but if you started to look into these things, you're going to have questions and questions if you want to find the truth. If you don't want to find the truth, you say, he's a traitor, I don't want to listen to him. With that kind of com communication, who has this, has the power. Who doesn't have it, is going to be, I, I, I don't want anything. I do whatever you want me to do. <laughs> Bend over. Anyway, th that's how it goes. So, gr greener, griner, no more. Quiet. And I said, the guy, that, the, the, the reason that they put whaler, whaler, whatever, the, that ex-marine or something that he was... Uh, Supposedly he was communicating, getting some information, you know, got the red tape by the uh, red-handed by the Russian uh, security forces and so on. Uh, he was this and he was that. Whatever, man. He did more than the bringing cannabis over there, which I don't think she should take nine, nine years for that. But hey, that's that country's laws should be respected. If you enter a country, you respect that, respect that country's laws. The same, if you enter the United States, you can enter with a loaded bazooka at the JFK and say, hey, I'm here. Well, in my country, I can't have it. Well, go back to your country then. Here, you can't. And you're going to go to prison for that. Oh, for I don't know how many years, probably a slap over your hand if you're greener, but if you're someone else, uh, <laughs> you get... Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. So, Nord Stream, and um, let me show you this though. So we have it, and these guys are not going to let it go. Russia will not allow Nord Stream probe to be swept under the rug, Lavrov tells Sputnik today. Well, I wouldn't either. And I'm pretty sure no sane country would allow that to happen, regardless who that is. United States, France, just reverse the roles and see how, how things are just swept under a rug, ignored. Look at Greener, look at this, put them together and see that we are the free world and the good people. Well, we might be more good than evil, but we're not definitely exceptional. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.